she gave her first solo interview to Brian Tapp. Ever heard of him? We hadn't either. He's a local action news anchor for the local ABC station in Philly. And Kamala could not get it together. We talk about bringing down prices and making life more affordable for people. Yeah. What are one or two specific things you have in mind for that? Well, I'll start with this. Um, I grew up a middle class kid. My mother raised my sister and me. She worked very hard. Um, she was able to finally save up enough money to buy our first house when I was a teenager. Um, I grew up in a community of hardworking people, you know, construction workers and nurses and teachers. And I try to explain to some people who may not have had the same experience, you know, if, if the, a lot of people will relate to this. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood of folks who were very proud of their lawn, you know? And, um, and I was raised to believe and to know that all people deserve dignity. And that we as Americans have a beautiful character. You know, we have ambitions and aspirations and dreams, but not everyone necessarily has access to the resources that can help them fuel those dreams and ambitions. So when I talk about building an opportunity economy, it is very much with the mind of investing in the ambitions and aspirations and the, and the incredible work ethic of the American people and creating opportunity for people, for example, to start a small business. The question was, how are you going to bring down prices? <laughs> and Kamala's answer was, I grew up around construction workers who took care of their lawns. And then I heard something about ambition and aspiration. Kamala's only idea to fight inflation was price controls, but she's not allowed to say that anymore because it's stupid. So she has nothing to say and just runs out the clock with childhood stories. And it got worse. Some people have a question, given maybe your current role as Vice President of the United States. How different you are from Joe Biden? Well, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I offer a new generation of leadership. And so, for example, thinking about developing and, and creating an opportunity economy where it's about investing in areas that really need a lot of work. And maybe focusing on, again, the aspirations and the dreams, but also just recognizing that at this moment in time, some of the stuff we could take for granted years ago, we can't take for granted anymore. What did she just say?